So for the last video of the night, we've got the highlights to the Phoenix Suns going out further west to LA to play these Lakers. And for the Lakers, they've been without AD for a minute. It started to look pretty ugly. There was some panic going on when the Shrewdster was out as well. And they got absolutely torched by the Utah Jazz. But then the Shrewdster came back. And then they smoked the Trailblazers. And then they absolutely spanked the Warriors. And people, you know, they started to give up their little worries about the Lakers. And they started to relax. Tonight, they've got the Suns coming off a 14-3 and run since they started the season 8-8. and they're just playing good, solid basketball. So we've got two teams that are playing basketball on a court. So let's react to the highlights of it. Click. Uh -huh. So we have two of the best teams here in the league, basically, coming up. Definitely in the West. And I'm not going to lie. These are probably two, the mo two most boring teams for me. If I'm, I mean, A lot of people watching this are fans of both teams. I don't dislike them, but the Suns, they're just like, I don't know why they don't really draw my eye like that. Like, when I say boring, I still, I watch the whole game, you know, I still enjoy watching it, but I don't know. I'm just not intrigued as much by it because I just feel like I know what the Suns are doing from night to night. Like, it's just consistent, which is good, but I don't know. I'm just intrigued by teams like the Clippers where you don't know what you're going to get from a Paul George down the stretch. Like, the earlier game in Celtic Clippers. Like, I didn't know, like, Kemba Walker, what's going on with him. You know, there's just a lot of storylines. These two teams, there's not a whole lot of storylines in terms of, like, I don't know. The Suns, they just solid night to night. A nice fader there from LeBron. I'm not a Mark. I don't, I do not like Markeith Morris at all. I don't think he's good. Don't like his attitude. Not a Marquise Morris guy myself. Man, I was talking trash to Dario Saric. I don't know why. Pass book. Mmm. Beautiful. Right on target, too. Cam Johnson, a great shooter. <laughs> Jay Duds. Oh, man. <laughs> Jay Duds in there. I love me some Jay Duds, but I don't think he's still at an NBA. I think he's, I think he's past his NBA days. I, he looks, he looks like a legit Elmer Fudd. He's he is a pudgy man. But I like watching him out there. I like him trying, watching him trying to compete. Well, for the Lakers, when I was saying they're like kind of boring, they're not really boring. Obviously, I like watching Lakers games. I'm just saying, like, I guess they're less intriguing than some other teams. But for them, I think they have to, for them to repeat as champions, they kind of just need to embrace that and just become the solid defensive team because right now the Nets are going to be the most talented, flashy, high-powered team. And the Lakers, sorry, I had a little, a little sniffles. They, need, just need, they just need to stay consistent defensively with Alex Caruso, LeBron, KCP, Anthony Davis when he gets back. They, their calling card just needs to be being solid defensively. Tries with the screen. Pump. Oh, that is very, that is, that's tough. That's a good touch there from Brolin. Braun's trying to take over, keep a minute. I feel like... Hold up, let me wipe my nose a little something over here. Ugh. All right, we good. Cal and then at the half. I feel like Talon Horde Tucker went on a big run. I think they, he scored like 12 points in a short span during the second quarter, but I don't really think they showed much of it. CP3... Devin Booker's Booker's grown quite a bit as a passer. In those lanes too, Colin Torrey. Lay at the rim. The Suns team, they're just all solid. They don't throw bad players on the court. If you just don't have weak links, you're gonna be good. 
especially when you have two star players like Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Like the teams that are struggling or they're not playing up to their standards, it's like teams like the Mavericks, but they throw players that I don't think are even good NBA players on the court. You know, Willie Cauley Stein, guys like that, and the Suns. Everyone on this court, even Abdel Nader, was looking real nice. Darius Saric, Damian Lee tried his best for that. He was, he had a good first half. He's trying his best to stay on this team. It's an interesting situation for, wait, what did I call him? Did I call him Damian Lee? It's Damian Jones. But, um, it's an interesting situation he's in because he's either going to be signed for the rest of the year on one of the top championship contenders or he could cut and face having to go to Europe for the G League. So it's a big moment for him right now, and I feel like he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, give Nader those. Way to be there from Talon. Yeah, you gotta go at Duds. That's decent. That's pretty good defense, though, from Duds, you know? Of course, a hook shot, you know, in today's NBA, not a lot of players are built to make that, so can't be too mad at that. But they got Duds out of there pretty quick. Back up to CP. Splash the three. If you get to CP, you better hit a three. Well done by Cam Johnson. I thought he was going to try and go up against him, but just found a little slick pass. Cam Johnson was a great draft pick. I said it when they did it, when they drafted him. I said it beforehand that he was going to be the steal of the draft. I didn't know why people wanted him to go outside of the lottery. I see it every time I do a Suns video, but it's just one of my good, better calls. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much always right on those calls. People hate on me when I first say them, but then they come true. Good save from Mikhail. Mikkel. Braun is big. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like he's slowing down. But Jay's a problem. I feel like he's just becoming more and more of like a, just like a real power forward, traditional. He's just relying on his brains and his muscle. So everything he does, just that shot is pretty slow going up. I don't know. I just feel like he's slowing down in general, which I'm not saying he's getting worse. You LeBron meat riders, meat swallowers. I'm not saying he's getting worse. I'm just saying physically he's slowing down and he's just getting smarter and and he's stronger. So he it's just different, you know what I'm saying? Rise up over the top. Oh, LeBron was feeling that one. LeBron started feeling feeling that good stroke. Oh, he got to show it again. Only for LeBron will they show it highlight twice. Shooter's shooter's reckless, man. Shootster. That he's just a reckless dude. They had to give him get him a little steal of LeBron at the end. LeBron was thinking about getting himself a buck just to get his stats up, and they said. Oh, you're going to keep going? You need to look at that through? We go W, and we go get you another turnover because we know how much you care about your stats, LeBron. But for the Lakers, it's not a big deal. It's not a bad loss. It's not a horrible loss because if it was, you know, a couple of games ago, Trailblazers, they lost, and then, you know, they were still continuing a bad streak. There'd be some worries, pretty worrisome that they can't win without Diddy Davis, but... Beating two solid teams in the Trailblazers and the Golden State Warriors and smacking them around, clapping their cheeks, spanking them, whatever you want to call it. I feel like that just gives you a little assurance that if you're a Lakers fan, without Anthony Davis, you won't, you just had a good couple wins in a row. Your championship team last year, y'all won the finals. You're not going to stress about a game like this. For the Suns, what's their ceiling? Drop it in the comments because... The West feels pretty open. The Lakers, they're still the... They're st don't get me wrong, Lakers fans. Y'all are still at the top. I still have y'all as the favorite to win the West. But it's not a 100% thing at all. There's It's open. Because Anthony Davis this year, he hasn't... When he was healthy, he doesn't, didn't take the step over that we hoped, he, we hoped that he would. And so for the Lakers, they're still a top dog. But it's open. We'll have to see. And then after that... The Utah Jazz, they look amazing, but we'll see if they can get it done come playoff time. Clippers, to me, they look done. Nuggets haven't taken a step forward this regular season that we thought they would. So for the Suns, going 15-3 in the last games, 
Y'all think the Suns have a chance to go all the way? Or at least to the finals? Is there a chance? No one's going to pick them as a favorite, but is there a chance? That's what I want to know. Drop that in the comments. And then hit the like. And then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.